This year, if you're hosting Thanksgiving, you'll want to add special touches throughout your home. And I want to make a beautiful banner that you can hang right in the space where guests enter your home. Very easy to make. Use the table runner from our Martha Stewart Celebrations line. And the banner already comes with one cut edge like this. So just use that as your template and cut another. I call it a swallow's tail, like that. We've already started to use our stencil letters. These are nice capital letters. And we also have a beautiful wreath stencil. These are self-stick. You just pull off the paper from the back. And then this gets centered right under the welcome. It's a good idea to hold everything in place with a piece of stencil tape. And this is the Martha Multi-Surface Paint. Using a pouncing brush, this is a pouncer. Pounce just like this all over the surface. For the wreath, the three different colors, mango, trunk brown, orangutan brown. These are autumnal tones. So that is the stenciling part. Let it dry very well. Move your E, finish your E on this side, and then pull your stencil off. Oh, and look how pretty that looks. So we want to put this dowel right up here. So and we want to make a channel for it. So we're going to use double stick tape on the inside. Of course, this is not permanent. Press that in place, making your channel. Insert your dowel. And I love this Martha twine. It's so great for hanging. It's great for wrapping presents. And it comes in beautiful, beautiful colors. You can tie this very nicely around your dowel. And then tie this end. Trim your ends and you have your welcome banner. The welcome banner is the perfect way to say hello to your guests. And the project I'm going to show you now is a thoughtful way to say thank you for coming. Decorate your table with personalized potted plants that can double as favors for your guests to bring home as a memento. Take a piece of our Martha stencil tape and put it right under the rim on this beautiful little cash po. It's a cute little copper pail, so that gives me a straight edge. Peel off the backing and just put this right under the tape. Now we're using oat as our color, and I'm using that same tiny little foam pouncer. And just pounce all over. This is what it looks like when the stencil is removed. Pretty, don't you think? Put a few rocks in the bottom for drainage and these lovely succulents fit exactly into the little copper bucket. These are the little touches that make your guests feel loved and welcome. Subscribe to our channel and share your projects using the hashtag MakeItWithMichaels.